Concerning this, we have much to say and it is difficult to explain since you have become sluggish in hearing. We have, again, as a, we have taught these portions before, I don't believe there's something going to be new, but just to refresh your memories. Go on. Verse 12, for indeed, although you ought to be teachers by this time, you have need of someone to teach you again the beginning elements of the oracles of God, and you have need of milk, not solid food. For everyone who partakes of milk is unacquainted with the message of righteousness because he is an infant. But solid food is for the mature who, who because of practice have trained their faculties for the distinguishing of both. Okay. So the point is the author of Hebrews. Okay, we, we don't know who the author of Hebrews is. Mostly people before used to say it's Paul, but definitely it's it's quite debated and it is not clear whether it's Paul. But simply put, we'll name this anonymous author, whoever it is, great man. Okay, so this author of Hebrews has an issue with the people uh, that he's writing to. Okay, and in a very crucial teaching about priesthood, he gets stuck. He's not able to teach them forward. That's the, that's the, that's the interesting part. In simple words, their immaturity, because of their immaturity, the writer is not able to explain to them deeper things. And immaturity here is not not their lack of involvement. Trust me, it's not a lack of involvement, but it's their lack of discernment. There is something, there is a problem with their mental faculty. How can you, how can you understand this with a modern analogy? It's like giving a small child a hundred dirhams and telling him, here, child, keep it. Like someone who is uh, of the age of Nathanael or Johanna or something. Okay, here you go. Keep hundred dirhams with you. The problem with them is not that they are not able to handle. They can handle that money. If you tell them, don't do anything, keep it carefully, use it. They will handle it well. Their involvement with that money will be very clear because they're of an age that they can use it physically. But they're not of an age where they understand the concept of money. So in the same way, if you ask the people of today's church, talk to me about priesthood, they will give you a 10 hour lecture on priesthood. They will give you a 10 hour lecture on different things, but they don't know what is the reason. They're not able to handle that priesthood, the message of priesthood in daily life. Unless and until theology becomes practical, it is useless. And if it does not come to a practical level where there is maturity or maturely handling or mature, matured handling of uh, of theology, the writer says that I cannot go deeper. Uh, do, you, do you see the issue here in, in, in uh, what the writer of Hebrews is trying to angle at? Okay. 
Is this clear? So the writer of Hebrews has an issue where the people are not able to discern and not their involvement. Alright, so when you read uh, Hebrews chapter uh, 5 itself, the same portion 5, when you read from verse uh, from verse verse 10, he says, being designated by God a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. Okay. Immediately after connecting Jesus Christ with the order, not Malkisedek, but with the order of Malkisedek, uh, he says concerning this, verse 11, concerning this, this connection between Jesus Christ and Melchizedek and different other aspects of priesthood, I, we have much to say and it is difficult to explain since you have become sluggish in hearing. Do you remember yesterday's teaching or last time's teaching where we spoke about faith and obedience? Okay, so in that context, when he says, since you have become sluggish in hearing, he's not, ah. the issue is not about physical hearing. The issue is about faith, obedience, putting these things into action. Okay, because for us, when you say hearing, it's all about just giving your ear to it. But that's not the point. For a Jew, for a Jewish person, when you say hearing, he immediately recognizes its actions, its, its doing. It's not about just putting your ear there. Okay, simply put, if I would paraphrase this verse, what would I say? I would say it concerning this, we have much to say and it is difficult to explain because you guys are not obedient. Uh, uh, you, you see that? Okay. It's, it happens even in today's, uh, today's, um, in today's time. Like for example, if someone, if you say something to someone and they don't do it, what do you immediately tell them? Don't, didn't you listen to what I just said? So that listening is connected with doing, not basically the, the physical act of hearing. Okay, so this is exactly what the writer of Hebrews is, uh, is trying to focus on. He's saying that you guys are not obedient because you're not doing the act in relationship and in love. One minute. So moving on. Verse 12. For indeed, although you ought to be teachers by this time, you have need of someone to teach you again the beginning elements of the oracles of God, and you need you have need of milk, not solid food. Alright. One sign of spiritual maturity is the ability to teach. Not in the sense of taking the position of teachers, but the possible the ability to teach. Okay. Okay, he's not talking about just preaching or just saying some few bunch of words or exhorting people how you have in today's setting, but he's talking about sitting with someone, explaining to them the things of God such that they are given the ability to obey. 
ടീച്ചറോ ഈ കാലഘട്ടങ്ങളിൽ കാണുന്ന എന്തെങ്കിലും കാര്യങ്ങൾ പറയുക പഠിപ്പിക്കുക അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ആ ഒരു കാര്യമല്ല ഒരാളുമായിട്ട് ഇരുന്ന് പഠിപ്പിച്ച് അവരെ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ എന്താണെന്ന് തിരിച്ചറിയിപ്പി ആ ഒരു തിരിച്ചറിവിലേക്ക് നടത്തുക ആ ഒരു ആ ഒരു കഴിവ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണം okay the spirit that enables you to teach others this is very important and this is a key for understanding are you matured in the lord or not aatmavana aatmavana matturaale padipikkan allekil aa oru kalivilekku praaptiyilekku aakunnu you understand appo if you are not able to teach for example if you are if you are not able to mature someone in christ that shows your spiritual what immaturity pidrol ningalkku oraale kristuvil pakkudilekku valarthuvan kazhiyunnillengil adinte artham ningal പക്കതയില്ലായ്മയിലാണ് ജീവിക്കുന്നത് എന്നുള്ളത് ഇങ്ങനത്തെ പക്വതയില്ലായ്മയാണ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ദൈവത്തിന്റെ വൻ കാര്യങ്ങളെ തിരിച്ചറിയുവാൻ പറ്റാത്തത് എന്നാണ് അഭിപ്രായ കർത്താവ് ഇവിടെ പറയുന്നത് I'll be matured enough to teach. Praise the Lord. I will be matured enough to teach. ഞാൻ വളരെ പക്വതയോടാണ് നിങ്ങൾ ഓരോരുത്തരെ പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്നത്. I'll have no I'll be having I'm telling you all to say it with me. I'll have the ability to to teach others and mature them in Christ. നമുക്ക് ഓരോരുത്തർക്കും മറ്റുള്ളവരെ പഠിപ്പിക്കാനുള്ള പക്വതയുണ്ട്. ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ കുറിച്ച് പഠിപ്പിക്കാനുള്ള പക്വതയുണ്ട് നമ്മൾ ഓരോരുത്തരും ചേർന്ന് പറയണം. I will reach the maturity in order to teach the people so that they can also reach the maturity. ഞാൻ ആ പക്വതയിലേക്ക് ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള പക്വതയിലേക്ക് പഠിപ്പിക്കാൻ ഞാൻ ഞാൻ എത്തും അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ മറ്റുള്ളവരെയും ആ പക്വതയിലേക്ക് എത്തിക്കാം ഓക്കെ യു ഓൾ ഷുഡ് ഹാവ് എ ഗോൾ ഫോർ വേ യു ആർ ഗോയിങ് സ്പിരിച്വലി ദൻ വി കൻ യു റീച്ച് ദ ഓക്കെ एवरी ഡേ കമ്മിങ് ആൻഡ് ലിസ്ണിംഗ് ടു ദി ബൈബിൾ ഇസ് നോട്ട് എനഫ് യു ഷുഡ് ബി ഏബിൾ ടു ടീച്ച് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും ഒരു ഒരു ലക്ഷ്യസ്ഥാനം വേണം നിങ്ങളെ എവിടെയാണ് അവസാനം എത്തുന്നത് എന്നുള്ളത് ആ ആ ലക്ഷ്യസ്ഥാനം ഉണ്ടെങ്കിലേ നിങ്ങൾ നമുക്ക് ഓട്ടം ദേഹിക്കാൻ കഴിയുകയുള്ളൂ ആ ഒരു പക്വതയിലേക്ക് എല്ലാവരും എത്തുകയും വേണം all right the second side of it he says you have need of someone to teach you again the beginning elements of the oracles of god and you have need of milk not solid food karam nokiya ippol upadeshakanma aayikkunna ningalkku devathin arla paadagal aadhi paadangal thanne veendum udesh tharuvan aavashyamayi kattiyayulla aaharam illa thre paal thre ningalkku aavashyam undu vandirikkum okay the uh, the use of the word milk and solid food just simply means um uh, food that is for infants and food that the matured can eat that's all avade kattiyayulla aaharam allengil paal nu parayunnathu paal paal kunjungaleyum allengil kattiyayulla aaharam prayapurthiyayulla ullavareyum aanu choodi kanikkunnathu all right so when you come to a level where you can teach others and mature them in christ you are considered as a person that can eat or chew on solid food nammal nammal pakkathil ettugiyum mattullavare pakkathilekk ettikkeyum cheyumbodana nammalku kattiyayulla aaharam kazhikkan pattunnathu Okay this is somehow seen in the in Matthew 28 if you remember the Jesus this is what Jesus says go ye into all the world and preach the good news and make ye disciples of everyone ഇത് തന്നെയാണ് മത്തായി ഇരുപത്തെട്ടിൽ പറയുമ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ കാണിക്കുന്നത് ലോകത്തിലേക്ക് പോയി അവരെ ഉപദേശിച്ച് കർത്താവിന്റെ അനുഗ്രഹ അനുഗാരികളാക്കി തീർക്കുവീൻ എന്നാണ് പറയുന്നത് Okay when you read Titus Paul says that if you he tells to um, timothy and in, uh, in titus both these places he tells them if you are able to teach others these things then you are doing what sound doctrine or healthy teaching so teaching others is a sign of what health spiritual health timotheus uh, like titus il parayunnathu ningal ee karyangal mattullavare padipikkan kali ningal ningala patthi upadesham avare vadathunu ennallana paulus parayunnathu okay teaching again is not about just giving so much of uh, convict um, uh, so much of verses and convincing and that's not what i mean when i'm saying teaching i purely mean able to grow another person to the maturity in christ that's what teaching entails here padipile ennu parayumbol oru vaadu vaaku oru vaadu vaakkal allengil vaakkal eduthu parayuga allengil avare adu adu tharipikka ennu oru kaaryathe kurichu mathramalla padipile onnu udheshikkunnathu mattullavare kristu enna pakkathilekku varthuga ennalladana avare avare padipile onnu udheshikkunnathu okay ee oru level ninge ettan pattillengil what does the writer of hebrew say he says you are not matured aa pakkudilekku nammal namukku orthukum ettan pattillengil hebrew kartavu parayunnathu ningal shishu anathre allekil ningalku paal athre vendum nanu parayunnathu okay moving on verse 13 for everyone who partakes of milk is unacquainted with the message of righteousness because he is an infant padhamu the vakyam vakyam ningal ade paal kudikkadanellam needida vallathil parijayam illathana athre avan shishu allu Okay now here he gives you the contents of what this the solid food or milk food is all about. ഇവിടെ എന്താണ് കട്ടിയായുള്ള ആഹാരം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പാലിനെ 
milk food is that kind of food that does not have the message of righteousness okay and solid food is the message that has the message of righteousness what is the message of righteousness here he is not talking about a positional righteousness that means by by god's grace i am righteous that's not the righteousness he is talking about okay that means basically reading romans and trying to come up with a positional righteousness between me and god is not what he does is angling for ibade nammal ebrayer vaichitte avan yan neethiman anathre ennulla aa or kaaryam eduthonde ibade vannu kenjal adu ibade yojikkathilla here he is talking about experiential righteousness a righteousness that works out a righteousness that lives a righteousness that is in action ibade neethi ennu parayumbol oru padave kurichalla parayunnathu ibade aa neethi anubhavikka ennoru kaaryathe kurichana parayunnathu no needy velipaduthuva those who are able to express the righteousness live in the righteousness needy velipaduthuva okay verse 14 moving on but solid food is for the mature who because of practice have trained their faculties for the distinguishing of both good and evil this is quite important nalam thu vakyam parayunnathu kattayavulla aaram nanma thinmagala tirichariyan tarakkathil apesiche indremullavare ay prayam thirinorke pattiyo okay so very clearly and very simply put milk word does not have the message of righteousness pal vajanathine neethiyude vajanam illa follow me okay solid food has the message of righteousness kerala aharathine neethiyude vajanam what is the message of righteousness endana neethiyude vajanam nu parayunnathu or the word of righteousness what is allengil neethi ennu parayunnathu ിച്ചറിയാനുള്ള <laughs> വിവേചനം <laughs> not just discernment but even trained in knowing good from evil vivechanam mathramalla adil abhyasanam prabhikkeyam venam is that clear so the word of righteousness the word of righteousness is the mature word the solid food which has two key ingredients one the person is trained and the person is discerning in good and evil neethiyada vajanam allengi kattiyavula aharam nu parayumbol നന്മതിന്മകളെ കുറിച്ച് തിരിച്ചറിയുവാനുള്ള ഒരു പ്രാപ്തിയും അതിൽ അഭ്യസിക്കാനുള്ള പ്രാപ്തിയും ആണ് അവിടെ ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നത് വൈ ഇസ് ദിസ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് ടു ഡിസൺ ആൻഡ് ടു ടു നോ ആൻഡ് ടു ബി ട്രെയിൻഡ് ഇൻ ഇൻ ഗുഡ് ആൻഡ് ഈവൽ വൈ ഇസ് ഗുഡ് ആൻഡ് ഈവൽ കണക്റ്റഡ് ഹിയർ എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് നന്മതിന്മകളെ കുറിച്ച് ഇവിടെ ഇവിടെ അതിനെ തിരിച്ചറിയണം അതിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതിനെ അതിൽ അഭ്യസനം പ്രാപിക്കണം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ്സ് കണക്റ്റഡ് ഗുഡ് ആൻഡ് ഈവൽ ഇസ് കണക്റ്റഡ് ബിക്കോസ് ഫ്രം വേഴ്സ് വൺ ലെറ്റ്സ് റീഡ് ഓക്കെ ഐ വോണ്ട് യു ടു ഫോളോ മീ ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ്സ് ലിറ്റിൽ ബിറ്റ് അപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ഡൗൺ ബട്ട് ഫോളോ മീ was one for every high priest taken from among men is appointed on behalf of people in the things relating to god in order that he can offer both gifts and sacrifices on behalf of sins nanmal nimale kurichu tirichariya endu parayunnu bandu pidikkunnathu ebrayer legana majid 1 mudal vaikyam kaanu pidikkunnathu 1 ne 5 ne 1 vaikyam ingeyana manushar idayil ninnu edukkunna edu mahapurohithiru paapangalkkai vaivaadum yaagavum arpippan devagaarathil manusharku vendi niyamikkapedunnu what is the beauty or the duty of the high priest endana mahapurohithinte daudhyam ennu parayunnathu praise the lord the duty of the high priest is not to wear the beautiful garments and be like hey look i have so nice beautiful garments can you take a picture with me one selfie please that's not the role of the high priest mahapurohithinte kartavyam ennu parayunnathu nalla oru udupitte oru selfie oru photo edukkana aayathe kurichalla kartavyam ennu parayunnathu the duty of the high priest is not to say that you know, you know what i'm the most important member here all of you just stand around and just watch me for 5 minutes that's not the duty of the high priest mahabharathile kartavyam ennu parayunnathu naan oru naduvil poi ninnu ellarum enna sarthikkanam ente chuttum nadakkanam alle ente sarthikkanam ennu karyam alla parayunnathu 
Understanding the duty of the high priest helps you understanding why the writer of Hebrew says you have to discern between good and evil. മഹാപുരോഹിതന്റെ കർത്തവ്യം എന്തെന്നുള്ളത് നമ്മൾ തിരിച്ചറിയുമ്പോൾ എബ്രാഹിം കർത്താവ് പറയുന്ന നന്മ തിന്മകളെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള തിരിച്ചറിവ് നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാവും but to understand the duty of the high priest you have to understand the people that the high priest is trying to do this duty for nan mahaburohidante kartavyam endanu ningal tirichariyengil mahaburohidan aarumayi eda aalkar aalgalumayi bendapettilkunu ennulla karyangal nammal manasilakkanam who is the high priest doing all this duty for let's watch and let's read ee mahaburohidan eda aalgalumayi bendapettunnu nanu karyangal ellam cheyyunnathu you have to go few verses above okay so chapter 3 was uh, chapter 4 was 14 to 16 is where we are reading this is what we read therefore because we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens jesus the son of god let us hold fast our confession please lord ebrayer 4 le 14 mudal vaikumbol aagiyal devuthane yeshu arashikkode kadannu poyir shreshtha mahabharavayai namukku ulladukonde nammada seegaram purna pidichukollu was 15 for we do not have a high priest who is not able to sympathize with our weaknesses but who has been tempted at all things in the same way here's the key phrase without sin please lord പതിനഞ്ചാമത്തെ വാക്യം വായിക്കുന്ന ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് നമുക്കുള്ള മഹാപുരോഹിതം നമ്മുടെ ബലഹീനതകളിൽ സഹതാപം കാണിപ്പാൻ കഴിയാത്തവരല്ല പാപമൊഴിക്കുന്ന തുല്യമായി പരീക്ഷിക്കപ്പെട്ട അത്രേ നമുക്കുള്ളത് ബിക്കോസ് ദിസ് മാൻ ദിസ് ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഹൈ പ്രീസ്റ്റ് ബ്രോട്ട് എൻ ആൻസർ ഫോർ സിൻ ഈ മഹാപുരോഹിതൻ ഈ വലിയ മഹാപുരോഹിതൻ പാപത്തിന് വേണ്ടിയുള്ള മറുപടി നമുക്ക് നൽകി ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ദേ ഫോർ ലെറ്റ് ഇസ് അപ്രോച്ച് വിത്ത് കോൺഫിഡൻസ് ടു ദ ത്രോൺ ഓഫ് ഗ്രേസ് in order that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need praise lord adagonde karana lebhipanam takka samayatha sahayathinoda krupa prayamayamai nam dayathodu krupa santhana adu chellil why did the most or the great high priest do this duty for you endinaana ee mahapurohitan ee avane kartavyam namukku vendi cheyyunnathu so that you can walk in a life of righteousness against sin without sin free of sin അതുകൊണ്ട് നമ്മൾക്ക് നീതിയുടെ ജീവനിൽ നമുക്ക് നടക്കാം പാപമില്ലാതെ നീതിയുടെ ജീവിതം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് പാപത്തെയും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ രോഗത്തെയും തന്റെ കൽക്കീഴിലാക്കുന്ന ജീവിതമാണ് ഓക്കെ now follow me was chapter 5 verse 1 for every high priest taken from among men is appointed on behalf of people in the things relating to god in order that he can offer both gifts and sacrifices on behalf of sin anjinu nu vaikunna ingana manushyar idayil ninnu edukkunna edu mahapurojana paapangalkai vaayipadu vyaago matpa deva kaaryathil manushyarku vendi neemikkapadum listen to us to being able the high priest is able to deal gently with those who are ignorant and led us stray see since he himself also is surrounded by weaknesses randavatha vakyam ingena thanum balahinatha poonavan aagiya aravillatha varodum validitti poonavarodum sahadapam kaanipan kariyunnu varu you see the nature of the high priest ningalku avade yeah verse three and because of it he is obligated to offer sacrifices for sin for himself also as well as for the people munamatha vakyam ingena balahinatha nimittam janathinu vendi enna pole thanikkum vendi paapayagam arpikkendavenum aagum okay and someone does not take for himself the honor but is called by god just as aaron also was nalingena ennal aharona pole devam vilikkunavan allade aaru ma sthanam sadave edukkilla that means god's appointment of priest but that's what it means avada devam niyogikanam purohidine okay thus also christ did not glorify himself to become high priest but the one who said to him you are my son today have i begotten you അപ്പോഴും ക്രിസ്തു മഹാപുരോഹിതൻ ആകുവാനുള്ള മഹത്വം സ്വതവെ എടുത്തിട്ടില്ല നീ എന്റെ പുത്രൻ ഇന്ന് ഞാൻ നിന്നെ ജനിപ്പിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു എന്ന് അവനോട് അള്ളി ചെയ്യ അള്ളി ചെയ്തവൻ അവന് കൊടുത്തത് അത്രേ ജസ്റ്റ് ഓൾസോ പ്ലേസ് ഹി സേസ് യു ആർ എ പ്രീസ്റ്റ് ഫോർ എവർ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദി ഓർഡർ ഓഫ് മൽക്കിസരേ അങ്ങനെ മറ്റൊരിടത്തും നീ മൽക്കിസരേക്കിന്റെ ക്രമപ്രകാരം എന്നേക്കും ഒരു പുരോഹിതൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നു who in the days of his flesh offered up both prayers and supplications with loud crying and tears to the one who was able to save him from death and he was heard as a result of his rebellions ക്രിസ്തു തന്റെ ഐഹ്യ ജീവിതകാലത്ത് തന്നെ മരണത്തോട് നിന്ന് മരണത്തിൽ നിന്ന് രക്ഷിപ്പാൻ കഴിയുന്നവരോട് ഉറച്ച നിലവിളയോടും കണ്ണീരോടും കൂടെ അപേക്ഷയും അപയാചനയും കഴിക്കുകയും ഭയഭക്തി നിമിത്തം ഉത്തരം ലഭിക്കുകയും ചെയ്തു ഓൾദോ ഹി വാസ് എ സൺ അഗൈൻ ഹി ലേൺ ഒബീഡിയൻസ് ഫ്രം വാട്ട് ഹി സഫർഡ് ഒബീഡിയൻസ് കീ ടേസ് ലോ പുത്രനെങ്കിലും താൻ അനുഭവിച്ച കഷ്ടങ്ങളാണ് അൻസമ്മ പഠിച്ച് തികഞ്ഞവനായി okay ingane in this manner verse 9 and being perfected he became the source of eternal salvation to all those Kita obey him. Oh, I 
ഇതുപോലെ തന്നെ അനുസരണം പഠിച്ച് തികഞ്ഞവനായി തന്നെ അനുസരിക്കുന്ന ഏവർക്കും രക്ഷയുടെ കാരണബുധനായി തീർന്നു was 10 now being designated by god a high priest according to the order of melchizedek and concerning this kind of appointing of a high priest who is able to save his people from their sins and make them perfect and righteous and come before the throne of god god we have much things to say but you guys are immature it's lord ഇതേക്കുറിച്ച് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വളരെ പറയാനുണ്ടെങ്കിലും നിങ്ങൾ കേൾപ്പാൻ മാധ്യമങ്ങളായി തീർന്നത് കൊണ്ട് തെളിച്ചു വരുവാൻ വിഷമാണ് ഇവിടെ പക്വതയുള്ള മനുഷ്യർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് മഹാപുരോഹിതന്റെ കർത്തവ്യം എന്താണ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ചെയ്യുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങൾ എന്താണ് എന്ന് മനസ്സിലാവുന്നത് that the reason the high priest has come and given himself is so that we will be obedient we can walk in righteousness we can walk above guilt uh, above sin and so on and so forth we can be perfected in our conscience conscience before him endu kondana mahapurohidan ee karyangal ellam parayunnathu alle cheyyunnathu thangal kodi cheyyunnathu parayumbol avarku manasilana ee ee nanma thinmagale kurichu thirichariyuga allengil aa paapathinu mel vaaluga angalulla karyangalumayittu bandham allengil ansarathil nadakka angalulla karyangalumayittu bandham pettana parayunnathu so who are the mature this is what the writer says but solid food was 14 but solid food is for the mature who because of practice daily training every single day have their faculties trained for distinguishing of good and evil and 14 vaikinga kattiyavulla aan ുംറിയുന്നവരും according to the scriptures who is the person that can or has the capacity to do that tiruvattapragaram adu cheyvan paapthullavar aaranu the high priest mahapurudan why is the high priest capable of doing that endu kondana mahapurudan avarala kai ullathu because he is representing the people before yahweh praise the lord endu kondana janathe yehovide munbage avan pratheshipikkunnundu so what the writer is saying is to make the people understand that you yourselves are priests trying to do the priestly role of salvation and rescue from sin and different 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 things but to make you understand your priestly role i need to explain to you the order of melchizedek and how jesus christ became in that order but you guys are not trained endona nebraya kartha parayam ningal oru oru mahapurohimar aayikatta samayam kaiyirikkunu pakshe അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പാപത്തിന് മേൽ വാഴുവാൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നീതിയെ കുറിച്ച് നീതി നന്മകളെ തിരിച്ചറിയുവാൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ അറിയിക്കുവാൻ ഇതെല്ലാം ആയിരിക്കുന്ന സമയം കഴിഞ്ഞിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ പോലും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അത് തിരിച്ചറിയാൻ പറ്റുന്നില്ല അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അതിനൊരു മാന്യം വന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് പറയും all right he jumps after giving i will come back to this portion after explaining in full chapter 6 so many things he comes to the chapter 7 was one again with melchizedek he says for this melchizedek king of salem priest of the most high god who met abraham as he was returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him ഇതെല്ലാം കഴിഞ്ഞ് ഏഴിന്റെ ഒന്ന് വായിക്കുമ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് അവിടെ വായിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ശാലം രാജാവും അത്യുന്നതനായ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ പുരോഹിതനുമായ ഈ മൽക്കിസദേ രാജാക്കന്മാരെ ജയിച്ചു രണ്ടിങ്ങനെയാണ് മടങ്ങി വരുന്ന അബ്രഹാമിനെ എതിരേറ്റ് അനുഗ്രഹിച്ചു അബ്രഹാം അവൻ സകലത്തിലും പക്കിലൊന്ന് കൊടുത്ത് അവന്റെ പേരിന് ആദ്യം നീതിയുടെ രാജാവെന്നും പിന്നെ ശാലം രാജാവ് എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ സമാധാനത്തിൽ സമാധാനത്തിന്റെ രാജാവെന്നും അർത്ഥം Okay, without father without mother without genealogy having neither beginning of days nor end of life but resembling the son of god he remains a priest for all time avan pidavilla madavilla vamshavilla jeevanavum jeevavasanavum illa avan devaputran tulyanai ennekum purodhanai irikkunu okay was uh, was 11 we are jumping verses here thus if perfection was through the levitical priesthood for an, for on the basis of it the people received the law what further need is there for another priest to arise according to the order of melchisedek and not uh set to be according to the order of Aaron. Levia parivartha sampurnatha vannilengil adin keel adin keelallo janam nyaya pramanam praavichathu. Aharone krama prakaram ennu parayade 
Malkisadekin Kramapragan, very good in Vadiman and Tavish. All right, verse, um, verse, we're jumping verses again, verse 25 onwards. Therefore, also, he is able to save completely those who draw near to God through him because he always lives in order to intercede on their behalf. Verse 26, for a high priest such as this indeed is fitting for us, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, and having become exalted above the heavens. Verse 27, who does not need every day like the former high priests to offer up sacrifices for his own sins and then for the sins of the people because he did this once for all when he offered up himself. Verse 28, for the law appoints men as high priests who have weaknesses, but the statement of the oath after the law appoints a son who is made perfect forever. And on and on and on it goes along with the high priest's role. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. The reason why he mentions that we ought to distinguish both good and evil is because now we also hail from this same order of Melchizedek that Jesus Christ has come from. We are part of that same the, the high of the role of the priest. Uh, Verse 27. Okay, if you read in Genesis chapter, uh, Genesis chapter 3, again, what did God say regarding the garden? He says that there were two Trees, one the tree of life, and the other one the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And very clearly, after feeding off the tree of the knowledge of the good, good and evil, the Bible says that since they should not be in this state forever, we will close the doors to the tree of life. So the writer of Hebrews is again bringing back the idea, just like we read in Genesis, if we understand Genesis to be uh, the temple of God, the garden to be a kind of a temple of God, and Adam to be the priest that was kept there in order to make sure that there is no sin or anything that comes into the garden, the same image is applied in Hebrews as well. Okay, so if you need to understand what the role of the priest is, what the role of the priest in the sense to bring the people to God without sin, without blame, to present them perfect before God, if you also need to accomplish that, he says, you need to be trained. You ought to be matured. Okay, coming back to Hebrews chapter 5, verse 13 and 14. For everyone who partakes of milk is unacquainted with the message of righteousness because he is an infant. What is the message of righteousness? He says this, but solid food is for the mature. Who because of practice have trained the faculties for distinguishing both good and evil. Okay, other that uh, in short, in light of the priesthood, in light of God bringing the people, the role of the priest in bringing the people toward God. Okay, 
just like Jesus was able to bring those who believed in him to God he remained holy and perfect and brought all those people holy and perfect before God in the same way we are called to come to maturity such that we can also bring people perfectly before God and present them perfect before God this is the word of righteousness. The word of righteousness for the mature. Those who don't need someone to come and teach them these things. No, those who don't need someone to come and teach them. When you read verse 12, he says you have need someone to come and teach you the beginning elements of the oracles of God. Uh, because we are again I have to remind you of your position in Christ your duty and role is to save and be saved this role if it goes completely he says that you are immature uh, you're not strengthened, you're not practicing in the word of righteousness. That means you're not able to discern between what is good and evil from God's standard, from God's point, Yahweh's point of view. Because that was the duty of the high priest. Okay, on the day of atonement, the high priest would take the blood, make the people would understand that this is the great day of salvation, understanding their lack, take the blood, go in, do the offerings before God and present the people perfect before Yahweh. Yeah. If you are immature, then you will not. That means it shows that you are not Trained distinguishing, one, no. one, one, distinguishing between good and evil. I think there's a okay. Is this clear? Is this clear? Please do. All right, we'll again read those uh, four verses once again. So, what all has been taught, you'll, you'll be able to explain since you have become sluggish in hearing. For indeed, although you ought to be teachers by this time, you have need of someone to teach you again the beginning elements of the oracles of God and you have need of milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes of milk is unacquainted with the message of righteousness because he is an infant. But solid food is for the mature who because of practice have, their, have trained their faculties for distinguishing of both good and evil. Okay, very quickly refreshing the entire thing. The writer says that I want to talk to you about this high priest role and duty. Because his role is to present the people before God perfect. His role is to present the people without sin. Without fear. To keep their confidence perfect. Their confession, day, to keep them in their confession. To keep them in patience. To keep them perfect till the end. This is the role of the high priest. But the writer says, I can't talk to you these things because you guys haven't understood between good and bad. And how I know that is because you don't have training in your life. 
You're not training as a priest. You're not training like a priest. Just like Jesus came after the order of Melchizedek, you guys are supposed to follow the order of Christ, but you are not. You ought to bring many sons into glory, just like Christ brought many sons into glory. And this is not right and wrong from your perspective. This is a right and wrong from the perspective of the high priest. This is written from the perspective of a person who ought to represent mankind before the Holy God. You ought to be teachers. You ought to be people who are who have the ability to teach and mature people such that they are presented without fault. But I am feeding you milk. The basic oracles of God again. The basic oracles of God again. Did you understand this? Today onwards, practice the role of the high priest. Think from the perspective of the high priest. Don't think about preaching and teaching and giving message. Think about presenting people before God. People who are accountable for others. Will they be? Lord, if they stand before judgment, can they stand? Will their hands be strong with the with the hands of Christ? Okay, Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1. I'll wind up with this. Therefore, leaving behind the elementary message about Christ, let us move on to maturity. Do you feel that again? Move on to maturity. But anyway, I'll read in English full thing, okay? Uh, after you finish all this yeah. discussion between good and evil, he says in chapter 6, verse 1, Therefore, leaving behind the elementary message about Christ, let us move on to maturity, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and faith in God, teaching about baptisms and laying on of hands, resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment, and this we will do if God permits. Uh, okay. Okay. It's a serious issue. Serious issue. Training illa, yutham illa, practice illa, mahabharatam the road under the karakar illa. You don't even know what it means because you're sluggish in hearing. But even if we are speaking in this way, dear friends, we are convinced of better things concerning you and belonging to salvation. Maturity means it's a priesthood role for salvation. Verse was uh, verse nine. For God is not unjust so as to forget your work and love which you demonstrated for his name by having served the saints and continuing to serve them. Okay, verse 11, and we desire each one of you to demonstrate the same diligence. That means continuation is what is being spoken of. Same diligence for the full assurance of your hope until the end. Verse 12. In order that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who inherit the promises through faith and patience. Okay. Praise the Lord. Uh, Hebrews chapter 6 verse 18. In order that through two unchanging things in which it is impossible for God to lie, 
we have taken refuge, uh, who, we who have taken refuge may have powerful encouragement to hold fast to the hope set before us. Which we have like an anchor of the soul, both firm and steadfast, and entering into the inside of the curve. Where Jesus, the forerunner for us, entered because he became a high priest forever according to the order of Malkisare. Because he is the forerunner, he ran before us, got the position. Now you do the same role of the priest to bring many there. This is the mature teaching of the word of God. Praise the Lord. I ാണ് <laughs> Because he has to represent people before God. Manshane, Devathana Mumbage, Kondu Nirtham Endi Olla, Oru priesthood role le andistanathile, He has to know between good and evil. Okay, that is why you have to train yourself. What is the scriptural good and evil? Learn, practice, put into practice. What is good? Keep doing diligently. What is not good? Stop from doing. So that you can bring many sons into glory. The gospel is expressed in your teaching. Not in your listening. Okay? I hope I have given you a well founded, rounded information about these things. It's not an easy topic. Okay? This message You are fulfilling it. Is it clear? Thank you, Bani. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I hope I, hope I have given you a well rounded information. Learn about Malkisadeh. Read about Jesus Christ. How he came in the order. And what was his priesthood? What was, because Hebrews chapter 5, Hebrews chapter 7, all this in detail explains the priesthood. And it's nestled in this Hebrews chapter uh, 5 portion where he says, listen, you ought to be each other. You ought to be growing up to mature. Maturity is not the main uh, Maturity is not the main Simple as that. Maturity is not the main membership. What is maturity? Nanmayum. This maturity is for. Not maturity. No, no. It's not about that. Okay, anyway, I, I believe I have touched on many sensitive and many. Are you Portaki? Are they That's the point. Okay, first, first Peter chapter 2. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. An amazing verse. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of God's possessions so that you may proclaim the virtues of the one who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Who were once not a people, but now you are the people of God. Who were once have not shown mercy, but now you are shown mercy. Dear friends, I urge you, because of this, I urge you to live as foreigners and temporary residents to abstain from fleshly desires. Desires which were which war against the soul, maintaining your good conduct. Again, keep it in mind. This is the same thing which we read in, read in Hebrews, verse twelve. Maintaining your good conduct among the Gentiles, so that in the things in which they slander you as evil to us, by seeing your good deeds, they may glorify God on the day of visitation. What is glorifying God? Salvation. What is day of visitation? The day of judgment. The day when God will present Jesus Christ as the great judge. We know. Watch. Ningalo, Andagaratiluna, Tandi Alpuda Prakasha Tileka, Ningala Bilichavande, Salgunangala, Goshipan Takavano, Teranakapata, Rijadim, Rajagi, a Purohi, the Vargo, Vishuta, Bamshu, Sonta, Janavo Magano, Munbe, Ningal Janavalla Tower, 
ഇപ്പോഴോ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ജനം കരുണ ലഭിക്കാത്തവർ ഇപ്പോഴോ കരുണ ലഭിച്ചവർ തന്നെ പ്രിയമുള്ളവരെ പ്രവാസികളും പരദേശികളുമായ നിങ്ങളെ ആത്മാവിനോട് പോരാടുന്ന ജഡമോഹങ്ങളെ വിട്ടകുന്ന ജാതികൾ നിങ്ങളെ ദുഷ്പ്രവർത്തിക്കാറെന്ന് ദുഷിക്കും തോറും നിങ്ങളുടെ നല്ല പ്രവർത്തികളെ കണ്ടറിഞ്ഞിട്ട് സന്ദർശന ദിവസത്തിൽ ദൈവത്തെ മഹത്വപ്പെടുത്തേണ്ടതിന് അവരുടെ ഇടയിൽ നിങ്ങളുടെ നടപ്പ് നന്നായിരിക്കണമെന്ന് ഞാൻ പ്രബോധിപ്പിക്കുന്നു and made us a kingdom priests to god and father to him be the glory and the power forever and ever amen namme snehikkinavanum nammada paapam pokki namme tande rakthathal viduvichu tande pidavaya devathine namme rajyavum purohithanmarum aakki theerthavanumayavana ennannekkum mahathavum belavum amen purohithinte role ningal innu modale cheyanengil ningal endu venam prarthichittu kaaryamilla കർത്താവെ പൗരോഹത്തിന്റെ ഡ്യൂട്ടി എനിക്ക് ചെയ്യണം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് രാവിലെ മുതൽ പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചിട്ട് കാര്യമില്ല എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം അഭ്യസിക്കണം നന്മയും തിന്മയും തമ്മിൽ വേർതിരിക്കണം എന്നിട്ട് ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ നന്മ എന്താണെന്നുമുള്ള കാര്യം മനസ്സിലാക്കി ആൾക്കാരെ അതിൽ കൊണ്ടുവന്ന് മെച്ചോർഡ് ആക്കാൻ തക്ക പ്രാപ്തിയുള്ള ആൾക്കാരായിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾ വരണം ദൻ ഓൺലി വിൽ ദ ബൈബിൾ സേ ദറ്റ് യു ആർ മെച്ചോർഡ് ഇൻ ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് അബൌട്ട് മെച്ചോറിറ്റി ഓക്കെ എങ്ങനെയാണ് നമുക്ക് എങ്ങനെ അറിയാം ഒരാൾ ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ മെച്ചോർഡ് ആണോ ഇല്ലയോ പാട്ട് പാടുന്ന കാര്യത്തിലല്ല വചനം വായിക്കുന്ന കാര്യത്തിലല്ല എന്ന് വന്നു അവര് അവരിങ്ങനെ ഭയങ്കര അവര് ഭയങ്കര എനർജിയാണ് എനർജി കാണിക്കുന്നവരല്ല ഭയങ്കര പ്രശ്നം അവരെല്ലായിടത്തും പോയി പ്രസവിക്കും പ്രസവിക്കുന്നവരല്ല ഒരാള് ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ തികഞ്ഞു എന്ന് നമുക്ക് എങ്ങനെ അറിയാം എങ്ങനെ അറിയാം ഹൗ വുഡ് യു നോ ദ വിൽ ഡു ദ ഡ്യൂട്ടി ആൻഡ് റോൾ ഓഫ് എ ഹൈ പ്രീസ്റ്റ് അതായത് ഒരാള് ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ തികഞ്ഞു ഒരു പാസ്റ്റർ ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ തികഞ്ഞതിന്റെ അർത്ഥം എന്താണ് മെഗാ ചർച്ച് നടത്തുന്നതല്ല ഒരു പാസ്റ്റർ ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ ഒരു വിശ്വാസി ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ തികഞ്ഞ എങ്ങനെ നമുക്കറിയാം അവർ എല്ലാ ആഴ്ചയും വന്ന് പ്രോപ്പർ ആയിട്ട് പാട്ട് പോകും അവർ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കും അവരുടെ പ്രാർത്ഥന ഒന്ന് കേൾക്കണം ഓ ഈ സീലിംഗ് പൊട്ടിപ്പോകും അങ്ങനെയുള്ള സഹോദരന്മാര് സീലിംഗ് ഇല്ലാത്ത ഒരു സഭയിൽ നിങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ടുവെക്കണം സീലിംഗ് ഒക്കെ നമുക്ക് അത്യാവശ്യം മഴ വരുമ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ ഒരാൾ തികഞ്ഞു ഇതിന്റെ അർത്ഥം എന്താണ് ദർ ഏബിൾ അവർക്ക് വേറൊരാളിനെ എങ്ങനെയാണ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തു നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇൻ സിമ്പിൾ ടേംസ് എല്ലാവരെയും ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ പൂർണ്ണ രൂപത്തിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അവരെ തികച്ച് വചനത്തിൽ കൂടെ കൊണ്ടുവരാം എന്നാണ് അതിന്റെ അർത്ഥം ടു ട്രെയിൻ ദം ടു ദ മെച്ചോറിറ്റി ഇൻ ക്രൈസ് യു നോ യു ആർ മ